Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys my WWE Mixed Match Challenge Season 2, Episode 5 review. And we had the pre-show. I'm just going to jump right into it. We had the uh, host of uh, Caleb Braxton and Vic Joseph. And I don't know what was up with uh, Caleb Braxton on this show, but she just seemed like she was very thrown off and just was messing up her sentences and stuff. It was just really weird. But they go over the... Uh, Participants that are gonna that are gonna wrestle um, in these matches, and also um, go over the rankings of the brackets and stuff like that. And we had a promo from I didn't take any notes, which I'm kind of uh, regretting a little bit. We had a promo segment from Team Asuka talking about how uh, this was like from three weeks ago, talking about how they're undefeated in mixed match challenge and they're never gonna lose. Um, and then we had a promo from um, Ravish and Rusev Day, where they pretended to be Team Asuka, talking about how they were going to lose and made a parody out of him. I thought it was quite funny. And then uh, Team Paws got interviewed, and you know Bobby Roode talked about how he promised to do whatever it takes uh, to make sure that Team Paws gets to the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge and wins. And Natalia says that, uh, pretty much talks about how her cat's Instagram followers went down since Kevin Owens got injured. But so she wants to get him back up and talks about how Bobby Roode loves cats. I thought it was funny. And then Leo Rush comes up and says that uh, there's nothing relationship wise going on with country dominance. They're just looking to um, be a team and win the mixed match challenge. I thought the pre show was all right, nothing special. We had the actual show itself. We had Vic Joseph, Michael Cole, and Renee Young on commentary for this show. And we had the first match on the show. It was. Um, Team Pods versus Country Dominance with Leo Rush win side. And I thought this match uh, was fine. Um, it, w what, um, it was decently entertaining, but nothing special. Uh, Leo Rush comes up and hypes up Bobby Lashley's entrance, which I thought was nice. And then um, Natalia and Mickey James get into a Bobby chant since they're both named Bobby. I thought that was kind of clever because I remember two TNA um, had Bobby Lashley they dropped Bobby's first name and just called him Lashley because they didn't want any confusions with Bobby Roode and Bobby Lashley. Um, so I thought that was funny. And then Mickey James jumps into Bobby Lashley's arms and uh, Bobby Lashley's like, whoa, you got to relax you. And then Mick Natalia puts cat ears on Bobby Lashley and Bobby Lashley takes him up and like just crushes them and destroys them and this wakes Natalia's heart. So then Bobby Roode attacks Bobby Lashley and... But then Bobby Lashley pretty much is getting the upper hand on Bobby Roode. So then Mickey James gets tagged. No, Bobby Roode tags in Natalia. So Mickey James and Natalia go at it. Mickey James dominates Natalia for a while. And then Bobby Roode gets the hot tag on Bobby Lashley. And Bobby Lashley hits a back, uh, back drop on Bobby Roode. Roode hits a uh, blockbuster on Lashley. And then Lashley goes for the spear. Uh, Roode moves out of the way and he goes into the post. And then Roode sets up for his glorious DDT. Mickey James then gets in his face, and then Natalia gets in his face, and then Natalia and Rude um, both simultaneously put Lashley, put, well, country dominance um, into the uh, sharpshooters, which they try to make, the commentators try to put it over as if Natalia taught Bobby Rude the sharpshooter, and I might be mistaken, but I believe before he came to WWE, I think Bobby Rude's done the sharpshooter, so there's that. They also said that Bobby Roode teamed up with uh, Jim the Edward Nyhart in like one of the first match, one of his first matches. I have to look that up. But then uh, Mickey chaps out, but um, since she's not legal, it doesn't count. And then Leo Russ gets on the apron. Bobby Roode knocks him off, and then Lashley spears Roode for the win, which was really weird because Natalia was clearly on the apron and could have come in and broken this up, but whatever. But country dominance um, wins the match. And now Country Dominance are 2-0 and in the turn, um, in Mixed Match Challenge. And Team Paws are 0-2. And now next week it's going to be uh, Country Dominance versus... Um, no, actually no it's not. I've got that one. Next week it's going to be uh, Team Paws versus B&B. B&B cut a, one of those little selfie promos saying that they're going to defeat um, Country Dominance. It was pretty bad. It was didn't really care for it. And then Country Commons gets interviewed and said that they have to think positively and get back into the swing of things next week. Um, and then Asuka comes up, actually Asuka, and um, says that we will win. And then we have the next match in the Mixed Match Challenge. 
And I forgot to mention, I believe uh, that they showed Team Asuka training uh, backstage during the uh, Country Dominance Team Pause match. But then we had Team Asuka versus uh, Ravish and Rusev Day in the next match. During this match, uh, the Fabulous Truth were commented in the Facebook chat. And everybody's having fun. Um, they do this thing where uh, Asuka twerks and then Lana twerks, which was nice. And then they do this thing where they all um, pose and pull the, put their hands up. And uh, Miz gets booed. Uh, Ravish and Rusev Day gets like a mixed reaction. And Asuka gets, um, I don't know, um, a tremendous reaction. Which I imagine that wouldn't really be the case. But I would surprise... I can understand Asuka getting a bigger reaction, but I didn't think Ravish and Rusev Day would get a mixed reaction because they get they're unanimously over on SmackDown, and I think Mixed Match Challenge rigged this or something. I don't know. I'm not looking at too much too, too too much thought into it. Then Ravish and Rusev Day kiss, so they do this so that way Team Asuka will have to kiss, but Miz doesn't want to kiss Asuka because he's married. So then they go to take they they go to attack Ravish and Rusev Day. Ravish and Rusev Day fight off Asuka, and then Rusev goes to dive on Miz. Miz pulls Asuka in front of him, preventing Rusev from diving on, diving on him. And then Lana hits a dive on Team Asuka. And then um, Asuka gets the heat on Lana for a while. And then Rusev gets the hot tag on the Miz. And the Miz just gets dominated. So Asuka tags herself back in. And then Lana's on the verge of beating Asuka. She um, goes to put the, As the um, accolade on onto Asuka. But then Miz gets on the mic, and clears his throat as if he's Aiden English, and Ravish and Rusev Day thinks that uh, Aiden English is going to come out. I actually kind of liked this. Uh, I thought this was a nice touch here. And then Miz tries to attack Rusev with a microphone. Rusev ducks. He fights the Miz. And then um, uh, Asuka knocks Miz off the, off the uh, apron. And then um, Lana puts the Asuka lock on Miz. And no, not the Oscar lock. Sorry, the accolade on Miz. And then um, Oscar tries to come in and kick Lana in the head, but Lana ducks. And Lana hits a face bust when Oscar um, goes for the cover. Miz breaks it up, and then Lana slaps the Miz, and Oscar puts um, Lana in the Oscar lock. And then Rusev pulls a, um, pulls Miz out of the wind, but he's unaware that Lana is in the Oscar lock, so she ends up tapping out, and Oscar. Wins and Team Asuka um, are now two and zero in the mixed match challenge. They haven't lost yet. I imagine what they're doing here is um, they're hyping up uh, the top two because um, Phenomenal Flair are also undefeated thus far in the mixed match challenge, as well as Monster Eclipse. So I have a feeling on each division we're going to have um, Monster Eclipse versus um, Country Dominance, and then. Uh, um, Phenomenal Flair versus Team Asuka um, eventually in the Mixed Match Challenge. I don't think they'll, I think those two teams won't lose until one of them has to lose in that match. Um, which I think makes sense. And then uh, we find out that next week it's going to be um, Team Asuka versus Day One Glow. The so Day One Glow do a formal saying that um, they're going to beat Team Asuka, and that's that. And that was Mixed Match Challenge. I thought this was probably one of the weakest mixed match challenge. I didn't think it was um, as entertaining as some weeks, but I still thought it was okay. Um, I'll give it a C. And that's my thoughts on this week's uh, mixed match challenge. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video so people will watch it. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel for more content and click on the bell. So that way, every time you upload a video, you guys get the notifications for it. Make sure you guys do the same thing for my CM Brothers and all the Talking Native YouTube channels. That's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.